when she cleared the bar at 14 feet at a meet in Rochester last weekend, Orchard Park senior Leah Pasquatelli became the national leader among high school girl pole vaulters this season. I mean, there's only been 10 girls in the history of the country that have jumped 14 feet, so it was pretty historic. Among the first to extend congratulations was Western New York native and Olympic gold medalist Jen Schur. She is a huge role model for me. I look up to her greatly. The 14-foot vault was not only a 9-inch personal best for Leah, but two and a half feet higher than she vaulted when she won at this same meet last year. That's a huge gap. What happened? Well, really, I had the opportunity this year to focus a lot more on the vault. Victory already secured, it was left to Leah whether she wanted to try and keep going. She decided she would. She asked that the bar be raised to 14 feet, two and one quarter inches. How come? Well, it's been a goal of myself and my coaches, Coach Mike, to break the state record this year. So that is currently 14 feet, two inches. And to break it, we need to go Know, the quarter in Shire. She was unsuccessful on each of the three tries at that height, but there's plenty of time left in the season to conquer it. I'm going to work as hard as I can to hopefully try to make it attainable. It's not easy for pole vaulters to find places to train indoors. Most high schools don't have an indoor pit, Orchard Park being no exception. So Two or three days a week, Leah travels 45 minutes to the Wyoming County village of Warsaw and the Warsaw Pole Vault Club at the home of Coach Mike Aubel. Although this time of year, his two runways are often covered with ice and snow, meaning that much of the training is held in what is affectionately known as the PVP track shack. The magic that I felt the first time I walked in here, it never fades. It's a 24 by 22 foot room attached to Auble's garage and has been described as among the most unique pole vault training facilities in the nation. It just seems like a place where you can achieve your goals and your dreams. If you're willing to do the work. I've always said that one of Leah's super uh, powers is that she can get her butt kicked constantly in practice and she just keeps coming back. There's no room for jumping, but within these cramped quarters, there are a variety of apparatus that allow athletes to focus on different parts of the vault. There are ropes, rings, and pulleys which hang from the ceiling for use in strengthening the legs and the upper body. And there are, of course, poles, the tips of which can be jammed into a pit in one corner of the room. There it is. And bent by the vaulters to practice that most crucial step of takeoff, as well as a trapeze-like device that allows them to practice inverting their bodies as they soar aloft. It's not an event where you can say, um, all right, you're not good at anything else, why don't you go pole vault? Um, so if you're fast, you're strong, you have gymnastic ability, and then a little bit of a daredevilish uh, mentality, but really um, just being tough. Um, she's one of the toughest kids I've ever known. And this is a, an event where you are gonna have s failure so often that you got to be able to rebound from that. Some of this equipment was designed over the years by Aubel, who plans on phasing out the club after this year after having trained thousands of aspiring vaulters from throughout Western New York. Leah, among the last, is among the best. She's without a doubt the best athlete I've ever coached, um, and she's one of the most outstanding young people I've ever known. How far can she go? <sighs> That's difficult to say. I would never want to sell her short.